Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply. Today I'm going to show you the Exoterra Solar Glow Mercury Vapor Bulb. And like all mercury vapor bulbs in the reptile industry, that is, they have UVA, UVB, heat and light. So it's really an all-in-one bulb for your basking reptile. And when I say basking reptile, I mean iguanas, bearded dragons, chameleons, Anything that likes to bask and get under a bulb probably needs UVB. So to get UVB, you need gas. And these type of bulbs, these mercury vapor bulbs, they are gas bulbs. And they do have quite a bit of mercury, they do have quite a bit of UV to them. So for instance, in any given area, as maybe central part of the, the United States, in a sunny day, you'll get 150 microwatts of UVB. Now that's an important measurement because you want to you want to kind of understand what does a bulb like this give compared to a sunny day. So a bulb like this, basically we use our handy solar meter, and we want to find out what is what's the amount of UV that my reptile is getting. Well, we can find this out. A bulb like this is 125 watt solar glow. We'll put out. About 18 inches, it's going to put out about 40 to 50 microwatts, so a lot less than would be on a sunny day. But move it up to 12 inches, and you're right around 100 to 110 microwatts. Move it a little closer, and you can be well over 250. So the closer you get to the bulb, the more UVB and more UVA that your reptile is going to get. So um, the other thing that I want to talk about is once you put this type of bulb above a screen, the emissions get cut in almost half. So it depends on the screen and it depends on how tight the screen is as far as being a medium screen or a, um, or a tight screen. Like this is considered a, a tighter mesh. So it blocks out more UV. So basically what you want to know too is how much heat am I going to get? Well, with this type of 125 watt, if you're sitting about 12 inches below the bulb, you could be getting in the 90s. If you're sitting a little closer, you definitely can, can be in the low 100s, so it's perfectly appropriate for a bearded dragon or something like that, or a reptile that needs higher heat like Euromastics. Um, you want the bulb to sit a little further away from, say, tortoises who will need um, temperatures in the mid-80s. Uh, okay, so... One of the other things about this mercury vapor bulb is with Exoterra, we carry the 125 watt, and that's a little different than some of the other bulbs out there, which come from 70 to 100 or 160. The Exoterra kind of fits in between that and gives you 125 watts. So it could be used on enclosures that are anywhere from probably 40, watt, 40 gallons to, say, 100 gallons. So perfectly appropriate. The other thing, this type of bulb it's a little larger, so you don't want to put this in a regular 10-inch dome because a regular 10-inch dome, this will come close to, if not touch, the screen top. If it touches the screen top or is really close, it's going to superheat the bulb and either damage your bulb or have your bulb shut on and off. There's a safety protection in these mercury vapor bulbs. So you don't want to activate that. Get the right dome, which is the Zoom It Extra Deep Dome. Okay, that particular dome will allow it to sit well above the screen top. So again, I think this is a fantastic bulb for any basking reptile. Uh, it's available in our mercury vapor bulb department in our lighting section. And I'm Stephen. Oh, I did, but before I wrap it up here, I just want to make quick mention that if you don't understand what size is appropriate for what type of what size wattage to what type of um, cage that you have, the size of cage, we'll be happy to discuss that. Either you can email us or call us. We're always happy to answer your questions. And again, thank you for watching. I'm Stephen the Pet Man.